Welcome, everyone. You are listening to the Takeaways Podcast, Episode 6. This limited series is a special look into my new book, Takeaways, Secret Truths from Leading a Startup. This podcast is for entrepreneurs and other business owners anywhere who need some quick direction anytime they find themselves at a difficult crossroads. It's exactly what I needed when I was facing difficult daily decisions in the early weeks and months of my startup loop. I'm your host, Brian Friedman, and I'm currently the VP of Digital Innovation at Aventry. And previously, I was a CEO and founder of Loot in Silicon Valley and then San Francisco. Today, I'm going to share with you how to nurture partners from the beginning. So let's get started. Never get overly attached to your startup. The best way to do this is by adopting the perspective that your startup is always for sale. Although difficult, this enables you to release your white knuckle grip on your business and effectively prepare for any eventual outcome. For me, I always saw Looped as a quick journey from idea to product to ultimate exit. At 21 years old, I was inspired by the idea of people creating friendships and sharing contact information naturally. I pursued this idea with all of the ignorance and excitement of a startup rookie but never dreamed of making millions. Optimistic friends and families like to prophesy the lucrative future of my hypothetical IPO, but I prefer to camp out on the reality of the 99% of startups that never made it. I was focused on the immediate present and challenges at hand. Looking back, I wish I had spent time anticipating the potential outcome. I wish the future had sent a missile back in time for telling the total acquisition of our company, from technology to sales database, to marketing, to employees, to research and development roadmap. Knowledge of the future would have drastically altered my actions back then. With that kind of foresight, I would have strategically enlisted senior product executives at leading technology and consulting companies from the beginning. These product executives are tasked with finding new technology to complement or supplement their existing efforts. By opening the lines of communication, you can stumble into potential partnerships almost by chance. By failing to do this, we felt the painful sting of lost opportunity in April 2016. As Loot was preparing for a major Series A round with venture capital firms, Silicon Valley was in the midst of a startup winter for investment. Fundraising went from difficult to almost impossible. Slow returns on existing investments and growing demands for more funding from highly celebrated startups like Uber and Airbnb caused venture capitalists and other institutional investors to become more risk adverse and less open to funding younger and smaller startups. Along the minimal investment, investors also started demanding for more active control, including leadership on boards and involvement in daily management and operations. Needless to say, the climate was less than ideal for startups like Loop to be entering the game. Like other startup CEOs, I went scrambling for alternative investors and strategic corporate partners. The work of funding took on the additional effort of gaining introductions and setting up meetings. Although I had developed some relationships, I was hesitant to approach them for investment, especially with so much negative press about overinflated valuations. Even though I was bailing water to keep my startup boat from sinking, I did not want to appear desperate for an exit. Strategic partnerships are not a charity case. They work best when each party is useful to the other and valid because of size, customer base, technology, or prior joint ventures. Our second generation of Loot Badge was slated to be released that fall, and I had big plans. Instead of a niche product, I started to rewrite our story in a more general way for major international players like Walmart and LinkedIn. In my dream scenario, these giants would immediately find value in our technology and help launch us into the broader arena. My misguided dreams did not come true. While companies like Walmart, LinkedIn, Qualcomm, Samsung, and half a dozen other companies did agree to meet with us, the results were less than inspiring. We discussed our smart badge and cloud-based marketing analytics, But these conversations happened with lower-level business development managers. These people were gatekeepers to the real decision makers, who we never saw. My attempt to broaden and generalize the appeal of Loot beyond event marketing did major damage. Prospective investors for upcoming Series A frowned upon this identity crisis and got skittish in the uncertainty. We immediately halted our attempts to partner with technology companies and worked to regain our credibility as an event marketing tool. Prospective investors did their best to help us make productive connections in the event space, and we crossed our fingers in the hopes that the Series A investment was still a possibility. In the startup world, nothing is certain or by the book. 
You must prepare for all outcomes and have a plan for every contingency. If I nurture relationships with senior product executives at technology companies when Luke was only a concept, I could have acted on a merger, acquisition, or strategic investment at any time. Instead, I hesitated and made the rookie mistake of being too married to my idea to release control in the early stages. I'd failed to engage personally with product executives who knew more than me and could have seen the larger, long-term value of Looped for their companies from the beginning. In order to maximize your time and efforts, define your exit strategy before you establish your company structure. Create a target list of companies you want to be acquired by, and prioritize that list by location, size, and mission statement for best alignment. Establish strategic relationships with decision makers at target companies. Demonstrate your value through proof of concept demos. Be sure to include how your technology fills a product gap and build internal advocates on who can help you position yourself and your product. This is the strategic investor exit. And that's the show. Thanks for listening to the takeaways podcast, which is produced every Tuesday for your enjoyment and show notes can always be found on my blog on medium at own it. Come back often and feel free to add the podcast to your favorite RSS feed. You can also follow me on Instagram and you can sign up for more info on my new book at takeawaysbook.com. All of the links are going to be in the show notes. And until next time, keep following your dreams and own it.